Spider Bomb. Fly. Forget for a moment that Tim Burton didn't actually like circuses as a kid, and this reimagination of Dumbo seems like the perfect fit. No other Hollywood filmmaker of the last four decades has so championed outsiders and celebrated makeshift families. What's more, it was Burton's $2010 billion grossing Alice in Wonderland that kickstarted the current wave of live action takes on Disney's cartoon classics. The 1941 original was just 64 minutes, but this Dumbo pads out the tail of a parachute-eared elephant by herding the humans front and centre. Sure, it still ticks off the key points of the beloved story, snorted feathers, sorrowful clown paint and dancing pink elephants, but no longer are events seen through Dumbo's big, round, glistening eyes. Hmm, charming. It's 1919 and the widowed Holt returns from the Great War missing an arm. His two children, Millie and Joe, are delighted to see him, but the circus that is their home has seen better days. Is that a monkey in your desk? Then the Asian Jumbo births a child who has oversized ears which make him the brunt of much cruelty and humiliation. Until that is, it transpires he can flap those babies to soar up, up and away. What is that? A face only a mother could love. Of course, when it comes to things of a grand scale, Burton has long been a ringmaster and the man who puts the ooh in kooky and the ah in bizarre. The noteworthy exception is Dumbo himself, a CGI creation whose cute factor is very high. But a few soaring sequences aside, Dumbo struggles to maintain altitude. It's certainly an improvement of many of Burton's latter day movies, but is at times as heavy footed as an elephant. There are thrills and feels, but this reimagination of the delightful animation doesn't take flight often enough. We give it three stars. You can do it! Fight, Dumbo.